Hello, everybody. Have you got an old computer at home? Maybe an old laptop computer that maybe ran Windows XP, but the hardware is so old that it's really hardly of any use and you're just about ready to throw it out? This would be a good time to try Linux. Try a Linux-based operating system. And that's why I'm going to show you how to download and try out Ubuntu, or you could just go ahead and install it right on the hard drive. Either way, this is a very cool thing to, to do, to try out, to learn about Linux a little bit, and it could even breathe some life into your old hardware because on an old laptop or an old tower, you know, uh, desktop computer, this operating system will run very nicely. Uh, Linux does not need a lot of system resources like Windows or uh, other operating systems do. Linux is perfectly capable of running on very, very little RAM uh, memory and uh, it doesn't need much space on a hard drive. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun to mess around with. So let's take a look. Here's the URL you'd come to. Uh, if you just search for Ubuntu, it'll bring you here. It says Get Ubuntu Desktop Edition, uh, completely free. All you do is choose the version you'd like to download. Latest version would be great. Choose whether you want 32-bit or 64-bit. I would recommend with Linux going 32-bit for right now, unless you know what you're doing. And then just hit Start Download. It is a 693 megabyte file, so it's fairly large, but as far as operating systems go, it's actually very small. So let's burn this to a CD and I'll show you how to get it installed on your system or run it without affecting your current operating system just to try it out. Now this is to show you that all you need is a normal CDR. This is a 700 megabyte uh, normal CDR. I'm putting it in my uh, laptop and we'll go ahead and burn this file. In Windows 7 it has an automatic ISO burner. So you just right click, hit burn disk image and you can verify that it is the file you want to burn. Let's go into the right drive and hit burn and it will take a minute not very long and it's going to burn this iso to a and create a bootable disk so that's all there is to it in windows 7 if you have a different operating system you may have to get something uh some sort of an iso burner so th this is fascinating i believe that you can download an operating system for free off the internet full featured operating system, pop it into a, any old computer that the DVD drive or CD drive is working, and simply hit the power button. And Ubuntu will load up, and I'll show you around just a little bit. You need to make sure that uh, your system is set to boot from CD, the CD drive first, so I, I have set that on this system. That's usually inside the BIOS or you can hit F12 at startup and choose your boot device. And I'll uh, show you when it loads up I am here. using a PS2 mouse and keyboard using a VGA connection for a monitor. And I just went ahead and plugged my network cable in straight from my uh, router. So I'll show you if uh, Ubuntu 10.10 will auto detect this and set it all up for me or not. All right, so here is the first thing you'll see uh, when Ubuntu loads. You can go ahead and choose whatever language you speak best from over here. And your options are to try it and just run it straight from the DVD drive or install it. And it will let you install it as a dual boot configuration alongside Windows or you can just go ahead and make it your primary uh, default operating system. Either way. 
So I'll just hit try Ubuntu here just to show you and see if it'll detect my network. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, and here's what the default uh, desktop looks like in Ubuntu 10.10. This is what you see when you, uh, when you push try Ubuntu there on that. Or if you install it, this is what you would see. This is the default uh, desktop. You got some options up here, some options over here, and some options down here, just like uh, any other operating system. Let's take a look over here at the upper right hand corner. I uh, mentioned we were going to check and see if it auto detected my network. Yes, it has. Wired network, active. I've got mouse control, sound control. Uh, you can go ahead and set up your chat, mail. Shows the date uh, by default here. You can log off, shut down from over here. Uh, over here on the upper left, got all your applications, games, internet. It comes with uh, Open Office. It comes with some uh, movie and uh, and and image editors. You know, games. You can go ahead and access your hard drive that's in the system. Here's the system preferences and administration. So very interesting. It's a it's a full feature operating system. Uh, you know, down here by default, it's got four different desktops. So we're on one. You can click, and. Uh, you know, it's got four different uh, workspaces, they call them. And over here, by default, I believe it's a show desktop button. Yeah, hide all windows and show the desktop. So that's what it looks like. Um, you know, it's very, it's, I find it fascinating that this is the culmination of uh, a lot of people's work. All, everything in this is uh, open source, free uh, for anyone to use. You can also hit Ubuntu Software Center and literally choose from thousands of free applications that run on Ubuntu. Uh, so you could really use this as uh, your primary operating system if you wanted to take a little bit of time and learn just how to install things. And, and you know, it's not that hard uh, at all. In fact, some would say it's a lot easier than uh, learning Windows. So, you know, there's a look at Ubuntu. Try it out for yourself if you like. You can always just do this and it wouldn't even affect your computer. Look, you can look around in it, uh, mess around, learn it, and uh, keep learning. So you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon.